Merhaba from Turkey. This week we finally managed to pry ourselves away from that beautiful beach and we're heading to Hatay, which I never thought I'd say, but is right next to Syria. We've made it to the Hatay province, which is the most southerly point in Turkey. And literally over there, I can see a mountain that splits Turkey and Syria. That's mental. We got here last night and we parked just next to this Andy Kent that we're gonna go and see. The parking was lovely view with the sunset. However, there was loads of rubbish, which is quite a common theme in Turkey. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest, but it did the job. And we have to be real with you guys because we showed you some beautiful driving footage. Um, and it was a beautiful drive, but the reality was that half of it was actually driving through industrial areas around, around like Iskenderun, which is a big city, a big port city, like mines and oil refineries and stuff as well. So it's not all like you see in those beautiful montages and we just want to, you know, share the truth. But on today's agenda, we're going to the only Armenian tea village left in Turkey. Uh, we'll give you more details on that when we get there. But first, there's this really cool ancient tunnel that was like, I'm going to say handmade, but man-made like, uh, like 2000 years ago. So we're going to go check that out. <sighs> Okay, we've been walking for five minutes and we're already trying to hunker in the shade because oh, it's another scorcher. It's like 22 degrees by yeah, 10 a.m. I'm trying to be a little bit covered up because I don't know what the, I don't know, respectful thing to wear is for a woman as the further east we go. So because I've got a denim skirt on with shorts underneath, I put a long top on. Just try and balance out the respect. <laughs> I think as we, well, it's only our second day in the area. So yeah. like, I think as we see what other people wear, the locals and things, then we'll be able to judge like how... How covered up I need to be, but I don't know, we're tourists. So maybe we don't need to worry too much. Luckily I'm wearing shorts under the skirt. <laughs> you big flasher. Hello Froggy. I love how you can hear like, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on the camera, but the like tweet 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 of the birds up through the little gap at the top. Oh yeah, I hadn't even heard that. It's kind of mixed in with the water, isn't it? But it's cool. So you know, I think that was pretty damn cool considering how old it is and it was made by hand. I'm going to say that's very cool, but caught here. I don't know, I mean, it was, yes, the fact that it was made by hand by a lot of people, very cool, but it's just a tunnel, right? It's not, meh. Compared to some of the other stuff we've seen, maybe I'm just, you know, maybe I'm getting spoiled on these travels nowadays. Turkey spoiled you too much. Yeah, I think so. Do you think it was cool, guys? Come on, support me on this one at least. She's usually right, so we can't have it all the time. <laughs> Now this is what I call cool. This is the Beşkili cave, which means city of the dead. Let me just let that sit with you for a second. 
It's basically a rock chamber burial ground. Like a really ancient cemetery. This is much cooler than the tunnel. Well, we've not seen it yet. Okay, come on then. I think you can see the chisel marks from when they originally... Yeah, you can. Look. Like, look at the lines. Did it come up on camera? Yeah. Like someone's going... Either that or it's fingernails, so they've tried to but... escape. They've given them a little headrest and everything in this one. Okay, I know I said before that I thought that the tunnel was cool, but as always, Courtney's right and this is cooler. Yes! I'm always right. Can we go to the tea shop now? Sure. Yay. So you might be wondering why we've come to this Armenian village. Well, it's the only Armenian village left in Turkey. This is after a conflict in the 1930s where there was a, let's say, disagreement between the Armenian people and the Turkish. Uh, the Armenian classed it as genocide. The Turkish dispute this. However, the, the outcome of this, there was a, a referendum in, in the 30s where all the Armenian people would leave and most went to start new lives in Lebanon. However, one village decided to stay and stick out, and that's the village of Vakifli. So that's why we're here. The Armenian breakfast is slightly different to that of Turkish ones. You'll see, if you followed us at all, you'll know that we like a Turkish breakfast. And this one is as good, if not better, with some of the extra bits that you get, like the kind of feta cheese, the different breads, and <clears throat> it's lovely to come and visit this place that might not have existed if they decided to go somewhere else. So yeah, we're loving paying them a visit. They're very kind, and it's a lovely, homely feel here. Thank you. Thank you. So we just met the nicest guy outside of that, hello, outside of that cafe or restaurant yeah. and he was giving us recommendations of where to go and he's from this region and he was asking us how we found out about the Armenian village and the tea place and how um, we afford it and how we afford it yeah because he said for them to be able to go for breakfast. He was with his whole family, his like uh, his dad and his nephews and uncles and stuff. Maybe ten people. So big um, family. Big family. It would take him ten days of work in order to pay for his whole family to go for breakfast. And we just thought, wow, how fortunate are we? Mm -hmm. Like we say this all the time, but maybe not to the camera enough. We know how fortunate we are to live this lifestyle and to travel and be able to work on the road to be able to fund it all so that just really put it in perspective for us how fortunate we are and it was lovely to meet him and have a chat as well so the whole reason that you have probably clicked on this video is to find out whether we feel like it's safe traveling in this part of turkey and to be specific we're about 30 kilometers drive from the Syria border right now. So Meeks mentioned earlier that we can literally see the mountain that splits Turkey from Syria and it's about 45 minutes away. But it doesn't feel like that. This part of Turkey honestly just feels like everywhere else we've traveled and that feels strange in a way because we're brought up thinking that being near these types of countries is 
a scary thing and we should be anxious about it and even when we talk to our friends and family and we say that we're traveling east and we're going near these other countries they're like why why would you want to do that and we even had that little bit of apprehension ourselves but being here yeah it honestly doesn't feel any different to anywhere else we've been it's beautiful the people are wonderful as they are everywhere in this country and we can honestly say we're having a great time so if you're on the fence about whether you're going to travel to Hatay, we would definitely recommend it. So one last thing for today are these waterfalls. And what, what are, are they called? Harvey! And one last thing for today the Harvier waterfalls in Antakya. They're pretty cool. So nice on a hot day, isn't it? Ooh. And you can sit in the water whilst you have a cup of tea. <laughs> Is it cold? It's freezing. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Mine. It's there yours. we go. I'm out of the water now. Well, well. Nice slippy. Slippy? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay, do not go to the first, second or third uh, cafes, restaurant. Like when you come in here, the one right down at the bottom is huge and it has beautiful views Crazy all over views. the massive waterfall that goes down into the what do you call that? River. River. Valley. Thank you, Valley. <laughs> um, but they were very nice and let us go in and take some shots. <sighs> but we can't drink any more coffee. <laughs> I'm still glad we managed to sit with our feet in the water though. Right, we are nearing the end of Tat Row once again, nearly back, heading back to the van. <sighs> and it's been such a good weekend. And I think we will leave you here and pick you up next week. And we'll be heading, I think, towards Gaziantep. Unless the plans change, which they sometimes do. <laughs> Gaziantep is on the map. It is. So we'll see you next week, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>